Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some must-have safety items while you're out riding the trails, whether it's ATV, side-by-side, -side, just some things you really should have if you're going to be out there, especially if you're going to be going uh, farther distances. So stay tuned and check it out. Today's video is going to be going over just some uh, safety features, added features that you should have if you're going to be riding uh, quite a ways out. Um, for us, uh, lately, been join, uh, joined a, a club in Vermont, um, which the closest trails are about 30 minutes from my house, but some of them can be as far away as, as three or four hours. And then, the, you know, the trails themselves, you can be uh, quite a ways in on the trails before. Uh, so if anything happened, you know, you, you want to make sure you're prepared. So these items, the idea is to make sure you're prepared so that if you're out, especially if you're out by yourself, you definitely want these things. But if you're in a group, you probably combined want to make sure you, you at least have most of these items. So um, let's go over uh, the first item. All right, guys. So here's my side by side trailer. It's just I, I call it cheap, but I mean, it, it still was I think about sixteen hundred dollars from tractor supply. It's a ten by five and a half. And my side-by-side -side literally just fits. I have a few inches of wiggle room uh, when it's on it. But, so for the first must-have item I'm gonna say is gonna be, if you're gonna be traveling a lot and, and trailering your side-by-side, -side, it's gonna be a spare tire. Um, these, again, can be picked up fairly cheap um, online when I was looking. It hasn't come in, so I can't show it to you guys, but uh, spare tire for this thing with rim, you're talking 70, 75 bucks delivered. So it's very cheap guys. And I mean, if you think of the impact, so um, just to step back, what kind of got me thinking about this and, and to do a video on it is um, we went riding last weekend and during the ride, one of uh, my father's friends, he has a horse trailer, it's a dual axle. It, it's pretty heavy duty. However, um, it's a little bit older tires are starting to dry rot and he ended up getting a flat and we were about an hour and a half away luckily it was on the way back but you know he had a spare his spare was bad but long story short i had to run the stewards get some fix a flat uh you know it wasn't it was just a slow leak so we were able to kind of get some air into it with that and then he was able to drive the stewards fill it back you know the rest of it back up all the way and then drive it home but all in all i mean i probably wasted an hour and a half doing this so um the importance of the spare tire you know had he his what you know had he have had his and it was good you know he would have wasted maybe 10 minutes and we would have been on your on the road and luckily for him again i was there in my vehicle following him i, I noticed this the the flat happening so i called him and he pulled over however if you were by yourself um, he may not have noticed that flat until it was too late and it could have actually chewed up and wrecked, wrecked the rim, wrecked the tire. Um, and then you're talking, you know, you need a new tire to, to move it and it's going to take you a lot longer than an hour and a half. So the benefit is, you know, if, if you have a full flat or even if it's just a, a puncture or nail hole or something, you can easily swap it out quickly and continue on to your, your trip and it doesn't have to ruin it for you. So that, that's must have item number one. All right, on to number two for items, must have items if you're gonna be ATV or going out in your side by side. Uh, to go along with the spare tire would be a patch kit. Now, let's spin it around. All right, so right here, you know, your side by side obviously has tires as well. Uh, a full spare rim and spare would definitely be an upgrade to this but you know if you have a patch kit um, not only one it works uh, it's a double-edged sword here so you can patch your ATV tires and if for some reason your truck your your tire on your trailer gets a puncture you should be able to fix it as well so this is a Rhino USA 86 piece kit uh, link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing it but it comes with uh, the tire plugs uh, tire the punch uh, some valve stems valve covers pliers air gauge um, this is a utility knife 
and in the tool to remove uh, the valve stems as well so overall this is a good kit you can get several uses out of it you could go you know if you're looking for something basic you could go with something that's just the punch tool and then you know a set of of these plugs however you know for me i i just took everything and i figured um could always use it again for the trailer or even you know even your truck technically um if you didn't have a spare or you wanted to try and patch it so this is number item number two and uh let's move along to our next item all right doing a lot of talk about tires well what happens if you once you fix your tire well you're gonna have to pump it up so item number three is an air compressor 12 volt so this little guy you know can carry it with you it's a 12 volt um, this one specifically can also run off of uh, power packs as well um, but it's good to have not only one if you do get a flat you're able to inflate your tire uh, number two if you end up having a slow leak um, or having some other tire issue the tire pops off you're able to put it back on the uh, the bead brakes and you're able to put it back on the rim you have to be able to inflate eh, you have to be able to, to inflate the tire back up so this uh gives you that option again can be used for everything you know your your towing vehicle your trailer and your atv or utv device so uh this is number three on the list and let's move on to number four it's done a lot of talk about tires um for the first three items let's see what we have for item number four stay tuned item number four is a portable power source jump starter uh this is by tac life again links will be in the description so now this thing quick little demo uh four bars of power so it, it has a flashlight built into it also does uh sos flashing in in the sos pattern so if you get lost at night you could uh i guess shine this up at the sky and hopefully somebody sees it um for other accessories it has two usb charging ports so you could charge your phone if you had a phone charger or some other um, device and then the the main purpose of this is the engine port so over here for accessories you can see set a jumper cable so you can pl plug this bad boy in and it's supposed to have enough uh, power to start uh, I believe it was a 7.7 .7 liter diesel engine so there's that so you don't again if you're out on the trails and it's multiple you know multiple uses here you could use this for your UTV ATV you know you leave your lights on LEDs um, something's draining the battery uh, late at night you leave it on you come back to it and it's dead so you can use this guy to jump you get you out of a, a jam or your your actual towing vehicle as well if you left something on cab light didn't shut off or maybe your battery's going dead and you know you can hopefully jump uh jump your your towing vehicle to get you out of here so for accessories this comes with a regular um outlet charger for your house it also comes with a 12 volt adapter so you can plug this into the side and actually run 12 volt accessories huh, huh, huh. remember what uh, i mentioned earlier so this air pump technically um could run off of this i don't know how long it would last maybe that would be a good vi separate video i could do just testing that to see i mean doesn't need to run very long but who knows um so you also have a 12 volt car charger so you could plug this guy into your vehicle and charge it while you're driving and kind of always have it um, charged ready to go instead of leaving it you know plugged in at home and then the the jumper cables and again this comes in a nice um, nice portable case here that fits everything in it so um, very happy but yeah so item number four on the list is uh, the power pack and again this will help you not only if your UTV ATV dies uh, but also your vehicle as well and again this may not be for you it could be your buddy that has issues you know friend or or even just somebody randomly that you stumble across on the trail that you know their vehicle has died you'll be 
ready and prepared to help them, which is always a good thing. So uh, stay tuned for uh, item number five. All right, we are back with item number five. So we discussed uh, tires, power, uh, some of the main components that they commonly fail on vehicles again you know run over a nail hit a sharp rock uh, leave your lights on you know dead battery those types of things so you know all those items will will help you out um, one thing we really haven't touched on or that I haven't talked about is uh, your own personal safety so um, not gonna recommend helmets uh, you know eye protection those things that I mean you should already be wearing if you're out um, but item number five is gonna be just a medical kit um, some band-aids you know a minimum band-aids um, gauze and some other you know basic uh, medical features so I bought this kit um, I do a lot of hiking and so I have a lot of different uh, kits most of them are I pretty much have almost a similar kit in each of one of my vehicles. Um, you never know what's going to happen. Again, in a side-by-side, -side, yes, you're a lot safer than in an ATV, but, I mean, you never know what could happen. I mean, you're, you're cruising around at 30 miles an hour. A bra uh, you're cruising along at 30 miles an hour, and all of a sudden a branch snaps off and falls down in front of you. You catch it in a certain way. It, you know, it ends up puncturing you, your, your chest or hits you in the face. Um, or you know somebody up ahead of you spits a rock back hits you hard enough where it you know it cuts you or you get hit in the eye or mouth you, you know you never know what's gonna happen so being prepared is always a good thing so medical kit like I said I carry uh, let's switch it around so yeah so medical kit I carry a little bit more than that so you know I carry actually uh, this is a a time uh, tourniquet and then I also have a trauma pack quick clot um, you know you can see even up top you know snowmobile ATV pictures you know shooting so this is uh, has quick clot in it so it it helps stop bleeding but again people you, you never know what you're gonna run into out there so if you're gonna be an hour from civilization you you want to make sure you're prepared so Again, most of these items are things you should think about carrying when you go out, especially if you're going to be going out by yourself. Um, the, you know, the more people you're with, you know, the better chance you are that somebody has uh, some of these things. Again, this kind of just got sparked from my last trip, and we didn't even really go that far. Between flat tire, one of the other guys we were riding with, he had a uh, DeWalt like portable air compressor right in his um, UTV that he brought um, and I know last time I went riding I saw uh, people that had uh, last time we went riding I saw people that had uh, the little portable air compressors that you know DC air compressors they plug in so you know these are all things you know you wanna wanna try and stay safe and have fun at the same time so all of these things can definitely help improve your your overall day because believe me if you get stuck in the middle of nowhere with a flat and you have no way to pump it up I mean you have really one option at that point is to drive it out and uh, for some of you you know money uh, may may be harder to come by than others and so reckon your, you know, $150 rim and your, you know, $100 rim or wrecking your, you know, $150 rim and $150, $200 tire. I mean, that, that could take you a while to, to pay that back. And, and just think of that scenario, you know, $150 rim, $200 tire, it's $350. All the items I've shown you today, um, total cost less than that. So it's a investment and it, it's almost like an insurance policy that you're you're getting by buying all of these things um, so yeah uh, all right guys so th thanks for checking this out I hope so this will uh, inform some of you guys and you'll go out and, and purchase um, some of these items again these items I picked out 
some were based off of price, some were based off of Amazon reviews or, or somebody that I knew that had used it. So um, look around, you don't have to get the same exact thing. And, and there probably are better, um, you know, even for the battery packs. I know some of them went, were up in the, the $200 range, but um, you know, you can definitely do something in a uh, with a with a limited budget so um, that's kind of what I was trying to do I didn't want to go out and spend a thousand dollars on gear that hopefully I never use but um, I figured you know I I should have it and if I end up using it um, it will be there uh, so thanks for watching guys if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe uh, to catch more content like this and future videos so thank you